so I know I'm a little bit late to this. I do apologize, uh, but I watched The Last of Us it's in, in its entirety a week ago, about a week ago, and I just wanted to watch them back to back. So I waited for all of them to come out. It was kind of hard because I heard everybody talk about how good this show was, and they weren't kidding. This show was amazing. When I first heard about it, I was really excited because I love HBO miniseries. Uh, they HBO, they know how to make a miniseries. I mean, you got the Pacific, Band of Brothers, Chernobyl, which was amazing, and John Adams, which was fantastic. So I expected something from this. And then also when they cast in Bella Ramsey and Pedro Pascal, along with Nick Offerman, I was down for this show. I was so ready. And The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but... I wanted to make a video, I didn't have to because like I said, I'm very late to this and everybody has been talking about it, but I wanted to make a video because of how good this show was and how bad it could have been. And I don't mean that in a bad way, uh, it's just when you play a video game, you get attached to the characters, you get a feel of what they look like, what they sound like, you get to play as them, and then you also have level design, and then in the case of The Last of Us, you have the suspense with the clickers, um, and you have all this scenery and all this coverage that the game does. So I was very surprised when I would watch the show and I would see something that was not included in the game because uh, I was like, okay, well, you know, we only have this much time to fill this in. And, uh, but it worked very well and I really liked the added lore that they added to the show um, opposed to the game, which the game, you know, there's some stuff that's in the game that's not in the show and there's a lot of stuff that's in the show that's not in the game, but it worked out really, really well. And I'm glad that uh, people that have not played the game or just don't like video games can get into this story because The Last of Us is one of those really special video game stories. Um, so that, that's what I mean by it could have flopped because, you know, The Last of Us, that's big shoes to fill. Fortunately, it was great. I loved it. Uh, there's only, there's two gripes that I had, and, and I'll get to those in a second. They're stupid gripes, but I still wanted to talk about them. But let me talk about what I loved about this show. This is how you do an adaptation. Um, I love the changes that they did. I love the added lore. I love how we got to figure out what happened with the cordyceps. Um, I love the Bill episode, episode three with Bill and Frank. I won't say anything about that, but it does stray away from the game in the best way possible. Um, that was probably my favorite episode um, of the whole entire thing. I love that episode so much. I love what they did with Henry and Sam. Um, it just, the, the changes that they made were completely necessary. And then also the cinematography in the show was just beautiful. They really did get that Last of Us feeling. They done a, an amazing job capturing the atmosphere of The Last of Us. And I love the different cast. Uh, that they did for. They actually casted Marlene, uh, the girl, the woman that plays Marlene in the game. They actually casted her in the show. Um, and I loved Bella Ramsey as Ellie. And I loved Pedro Pascal as Joel. I mean, I feel like that was perfect casting. Nick Offerman as Bill. Um, and then I forget what her name is, but they actually casted somebody as Ellie's mom, which was great. Um, the things that I didn't really like about the, the show, there was two things, just two small minor things. I really miss that fall portion um, because it does sort of go from, uh, they don't really do it like spring, fall, winter, summer, which I'm glad they didn't do that considering the route that they went in. Um, and things were a little bit rushed towards the end, especially the last episode, because I was very confused with the last episode with it only being 40 something minutes. I was, I was very confused because that's definitely a choice on their end, which was, it kind of made me feel better knowing that they could have made it longer if they wanted to, but that was the runtime that they went with because this is a streaming show. This is The Last of Us. This is HBO. They could have made the episode an hour and 20 minutes if they wanted. They could have made it an hour if they wanted. They could have made it 52 minutes and, and 33 seconds if they wanted, but they didn't. Um, and it is the shortest episode, I believe. And I feel like they could have added a little bit more. I think that would have been a little bit better. I wish I could have got a little bit more out of it. But for the most part, the show is very, very faithful to the game. And I'm very excited to see and curious to see what they do with uh, uh, season two. Because I think they said uh, that the second game would span multiple seasons, which I can understand that. Uh, because if they do, <laughs> if, if the next uh, season is just the second game, a lot of people are going to be pissed in that first episode. I won't say any more, but, uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see what they do with it. I'm wondering if they could for the second season, uh, maybe, maybe just make their own season. I mean, they can do that. They, they can. And then the third season actually be with the game. I don't know if, how they would do that. I'm very curious to see what they do. I'm very curious. I'm extremely curious because even though 
like the first season is great but I still want more of these characters. I still want more of these characters. And I won't spoil anything for those of you guys that have not played The Last of Us Part Two or don't know the story, uh, but the story does take a very interesting approach. Um, you know, and, and we do get a bigger world and we get to see, uh, you know, more characters. So I'm very curious to see what they do with that. Either way, I'm on board. If you have not seen The Last of Us, I'm basically just making this to recommend it to you guys. If you have not seen The Last of Us, it's worth the watch. It is 100% worth the watch. I think you'll have a good time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. What video do you guys want to see next? I'm right now, uh, I'm, I'm of course going to keep the what I've been watching. Um, I'm also going to be doing, uh, you know, just standalone talks for movies. But for a ranking video, what would you guys like to see next? I'm thinking between a Stanley Kubrick and... Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just going to do Kubrick next, so I apologize for that. Not really much of a choice there. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to donate to our uh, Indiegogo for Pesadilla, links down in the description below. We, we're over half of our budget, and we added another clip to the uh, excuse me to the crowdfunder. So if you guys want to check that out, definitely do so. But anyway, see you guys next time. What did you think of the last? I keep burping. <laughs> what, what did you think of the Last of Us? Take it easy. <laughs>